Thanks. Uh, Blair Richardson from uh, Aristotle. Um, I had a question about your new paradigm and uh, proactivity slide. Um, I, and actually, before I start, I wanted to say a lot of these controls look very helpful. And I want to commend you on them, particularly with respect to immediately contacting law enforcement when you get an imminent suicide threat. Uh, that's really important. I wanted to ask you the same question that I asked um, Facebook, which uh, I, you understand is that um, when you learn that someone is a uh, registered sex offender, do you proactively look to see if they have been contacting minors? And when minors have been contacted, whether it, it's wanted or unwanted, uh, what's your policy on notifying the minor parents, NCMEC law enforcement, uh, proactively? Essentially the same question I asked Facebook. So I, I think you actually raised the question that ties right back to the paradigm question, which is what we did is we created a technology with Sentinel to proactively identify individuals versus other companies. We're not waiting for somebody to tell us, hey, there's a guy on your site. He may have been there for a year. He may have been there for two years. And he's a registered sex offender. We're running, when you sign up as a user, we're running this technology on a 24-7 basis doing an analysis, and then we have a 24-7 team that looks at the results, as, uh, and we try to do it as quickly as we can so that when you've signed up, you don't get much opportunity to do much on the site, number one. Number two, we're letting law enforcement know about this even if they have not done a single thing wrong in our site. And we're providing that information to law enforcement, so now you have law enforcement officers who have the ability to see what that individual has done based on the information we provided and conduct an, in, an investigation. In those situations where we think that somebody is on the site, is a registered sex offender, or even who's not a registered sex offender, we don't want to limit it to that, and there seems to be some anomaly, maybe they're befriending too many kids, maybe they've been blocked or rejected by too many kids, we're not going to call the law enforcement um, office directly we're going to call the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children because they've created a hotline with us for exactly that purpose, and then they will conduct their investigation, farm it out to whatever agency might be in the world, and go from there. Okay. Do you have a sense of how many people uh, on MySpace of all your members have signed up with their real names? No. No, but that's why we're using all the different controls. That's why we're giving power to the users. That's why we're, we're also very quickly seeing that users are wanting to be known just like they are in the physical world. Okay, okay. thank you. Teresa. Uh, 